Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Natalie Pauline and I like to create videos on makeup, fashion, and lifestyle. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a review slash first impression on Glossier's makeup line. Glossier is a Korean beauty brand and they create a lot of products on makeup and skincare. So today I wanted to try on a couple of their popular makeup items and I wanted to share with you guys my real thoughts and my first impressions. So yeah, if you guys are super excited for this video and want to know what I truly think about the Glossier makeup products and also how I came up with this makeup look and which products I used, then keep on watching. So the first thing that I'm going to use since I don't have a foundation, I'm just going to use the stretch concealer and I'm going to conceal it under my eyes and all the areas that I need to conceal. You can see how glossy and hydrating this concealer is. It's really good if you have like dry skin and it's also good for my sensitive skin which is why I really like it. So as you can tell this concealer is not that full coverage which is what glossy is all about. It's all about you know embracing your natural skin and your natural features, which is why their makeup is so minimal. So I'm just using my fingers right now to apply the product. And so far it's doing a pretty good job. So I'm gonna use this beauty blender to just blend everything out and make everything look more even. Okay, so I'm gonna apply a little bit more of the concealer, just on the areas that really need Bit more coverage and then I'm just gonna use my finger to blend it out and I'm not really gonna use a sponge here anymore because I feel like it's sort of the sponge absorbs just a little bit of that concealer now I'm just gonna go in with this setting powder it has a little bit of tint to it but I'm just gonna set everything so that it stays in place like the tiniest bit I'm gonna just set under my eyes first. Then I'm gonna use an even fluffier brush to set the larger areas of my face. It sets it so nicely, it literally looks so natural. It's so good. So when you swatch this powder, you can see like the tiniest sparkle. But as soon as you apply it on your face, you can't really see it. Like it seems like there's no sparkle. Okay, so now let's move on to the brows. Um, this is my first time trying this Glossy A brow pencil. It's sort of like a brush tip. It's not like your regular fine ultra tip waxy type of crayon eyebrow pencil it's very different so let's try this out i would try to create like hairs so our brows are gonna look so natural they're literally gonna look like how they sort of look like with no makeup on or like with no eyebrow product, but just a little bit more enhanced, you know? And when you're using this brow pencil or this brow brush, I highly suggest for you to sort of make strokes in your eyebrows to sort of mimic the look of eyebrow hairs. Now I'm just gonna use a brush to brush out or blend out the product. Oh, I think I overdid this side. So with this brow pencil, um, it made my eyebrows look super precise. Usually when I use a uh, pencil and then blend it out, my eyebrows look a little bit thicker, but these literally filled out my brows so naturally that it literally looks like my brows. Like it's not thick. 
but it just looks filled in. It looks really good. It's nice. I like it. Okay, now to finish off my brows and to keep everything in place, I'm gonna use the boy brow. So this is my favorite uh, brow gel of all time. I know I use NYX a lot, but Glossier is my favorite. And this time I'm going to be using a translucent color or a clear color so that it doesn't really darken my brows anymore, you know? And I'm sort of going to make my brows look really fluffy. So I'm sort of like brushing the brow hairs up. Using a translucent eyebrow um, gel can really help with flaring your eyebrows out and making them look a lot more fluffy. If I were to use a dark color, it'll just make my eyebrows look way too dark if I were to do this. So now I'm going to be working on my cheeks. I'm not going to put any bronzer. I'm just going to apply some cloud paint or cream blush from Glossier. And this is the color Beam. And you really don't want to put or overdo this because Glossier's cream blushes are really pigmented. So you want to build when it comes to their cream blushes. So I'm just going to put it all over my cheek and sort of like go upwards like this. And it's so blendable, this cream blush. It's so good. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit more, put it sort of across my nose to make myself look like I'm really blushing, like extra blushing. Okay, so then now we are going to put on some highlight. The one I'm gonna use is the Halo Scope by Glossier. I'm just gonna use Do you see that? Okay, this is no highlighter. This is highlighter. Wow, that's actually so good. Okay, let's put on the other side. Wow, this is probably now one of my favorites. I'm gonna put some on my nose, not all the way, just like in the middle. Then I'm gonna put some on the tip of my nose. Then on my eyebrows, my brow bone, and then I'm going to put some right here too. I feel like I just want to put it all over my face. Um, and then on my cupid bow, like on top of my lip. Okay, so now we're going to do our lips, and I'm going to use the Coconut Balm Universal Skin Salve. And it's literally just like a scented lip balm, like a petroleum, but it smells really good. And we're going to put a little bit of color on our lips by using the cloud paint. So this cloud paint can be used as a blush and for your lips. Okay, so now I'm just gonna curl and apply mascara on my eyes. I don't have any lash curlers or mascara from Glossier, so I'm just gonna use what I have. Okay you guys, so we are done with the makeup look. Um, I'm obsessed, like it looks so pretty. Um, like it looks so natural. 
and just like your face just looks more enhanced and really pretty I just I really like it like I am all for that natural makeup look if you guys are wondering what I would recommend from Glossier um, honestly it's really hard to choose and really hard to say which one is bad because I honestly think all of them were really good products and very unique um, and really just focus on making your skin look healthy and just all about um, your natural beauty I just I love that but I will pick out three for you guys so first is the powder the powder is so nice like it doesn't look so matte I have worn a lot of powders and a lot of them sort of make my makeup look a lot more thicker and cakey which is appropriate of course for heavier and um, more dramatic makeup but for an everyday kind of um, powder that you can use I highly recommend this Glossier one literally it keeps your makeup very dewy but it doesn't make it too matte it's like in the middle and it also does a really good job of just setting and evening and smoothing out your skin it's like wow I'm actually so impressed I I think I need to buy this like a million times and the next one that I highly recommend is the halo scope highlighter it sort of like mimics a very natural um, sort of like skincare type of glow it just doesn't have a color um, I've never tried anything like it so I highly recommend this one and then the last one that I highly recommend is their cloud paint because it's very blendable, the colors are beautiful, um, it looks really nice on the skin and you cannot, you don't only have to use it on your cheeks but you can also use it on your lips. One more thing about the Glossier products um, that I have to point out just to make sure, just to you know let you guys know that if you do purchase the concealer, which I personally really like, especially for my skin, it's very hydrating. I would highly recommend for you guys to set this with the Glossier powder or any powder that you have that you really like. It's very glossy, it's very hydrating and wet, so it can cause your mascara to run if you don't set it. Um, but yeah, that is it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial slash um, makeup review and get ready with me video. If you guys really like this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. All right, I guess that is it. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Look. These are two on my lips. Looks like you're wearing makeup, but like not too much. Yeah. You just look natural. Like. Yeah, it's so pretty.